Hello, I'm Asgin Yomozov. Welcome to 5 Minute Art. This episode's painting is from neoclassical period's famous French painter, Jacques-Louis David. The painting is Coronation of Napoleon. Although the name suggests the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte, its original name is the consecration of the Emperor Napoleon and the coronation of Empress Josephine. Because the one who is being crowned is not Napoleon, but Josephine here. Interesting. Let's get to the details. Napoleon, having had victories through his campaigns in Italy and Egypt, took over the first consul role, so to say the ruler, in the French Republic. Right after, he was proclaimed emperor of the French Empire. This coronation scene shows us Napoleon and his wife Josephine's coronation at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris in 1804. As a tradition in European empires, rulers are coronated and consecrated by the Pope. However, Napoleon was not coronated by the Pope, but instead he crowned himself. That was a sign of his independence from the Church. Napoleon is at the focal point of the painting. He is also the only moving figure of the painting. He wears a golden Roman crown with Daphne leaves. He faces the congregation instead of facing the high altar towards the Pope. He is shown in a pose to put the crown on his wife Josephine. The initial design by David displayed Napoleon putting the crown on himself actually. The remains of this is still visible with a very close look. The final painting shows him crowning the Empress instead. A gesture that represents a nobler and less authoritarian image. Josephine is kneeling in a submissive position and is about to receive the crown from her husband, not the Pope. The Pope, on the other hand, sits to the right among cardinals and bishops between Napoleon and the altar. Instead of doing nothing, he is consecrating the event with his hand gesture. It is assumed that the Pope attended the coronation not to jeopardize the new balance between church and state. The great dignitaries of the empire are shown in the right foreground. They bear symbols of imperial power. The eagle top scepter, the hand of justice, and the globe with a cross. The left of the scene displays Napoleon's brothers and sisters. One of the brothers, Joseph, did not attend the ceremony, being in bad terms with Napoleon. He would get the title of King of Naples and Spain later on though. Among the huge crowd of figures, one occupies a very important spot in the painting, and it's not the Pope. Drawing the line from Pope's head to Napoleon, then towards the crown and the cross. And right after, we reach a woman sitting in a lodge. Guess who that is? Napoleon's mother, of course, Leticia Bonaparte. Although she did not attend the ceremony due to the struggle between Napoleon and his brother Joseph, she was still given the most respectful location in the painting. Neoclassicism favors simplicity in design, colors, and patterns. However, the nature of the subject required a very richly decorated canvas to display the grandeur of the coronation event. So, David used an exceptionally rich palette of colors 
to depict the velvets, furs, satins, and lames of the costumes and furnishings. He added a lot of details on the architecture, sculptures, and furnitures. The final result is a painting in 10 meter by 6 meter measurements, filled with elegance, splendor, and glory, emphasizing the absolute political power of the emperor. David has taken a big challenge to produce his painting, but achieved success by creating a monumental piece that occupies a unique place in art history. Fascinated by this work's grandiosity, we have now come to the end of this episode. See you next time in another analysis. Thank you. Thank you.